Describe the nature of the image produced by a converging lens, and that's a convex lens in these two situations. Now the first situation is where the object is further away than the principal focus. So here's our object and the object is placed further away from the principal focus which is here. Principal focus and the principal focus appears on both sides of the lens because light can travel in both directions. So that's the first situation. The second situation is where the object is closer than the principal focus. So it's between the principal focus and the lens. Now we're going to consider each case and we'll be drawing three rays from the tip of this object or from this arrow which will be refracted and converged by the lens and in the second case we'll only draw two rays uh, as it's a little bit easier to understand. So let's dive into the first case. So we know that any ray that is parallel to the principal axis principal axis which is this dotted line goes through the center of the lens then that ray will be converged through the principal focus on the other side so we can start off by drawing ourselves a ray that goes straight through that principal focus we also know that any ray that comes from the objects point and goes straight through the optical center of the lens will continue in a straight line and so we can draw that onto our diagram and we can see that these two rays are already converging to a single point over here. And just to check, let's use the third ray, which goes through the principal focus on the left side of the lens. And that will come out parallel to the principal axis. It's a kind of reverse ray of the first ray, which came in parallel and was refracted through the principal focus. This one goes through the principal focus and is coming coming out parallel. So let's draw that one in. And we can see that they converge at a single point, And that point will form a real image. It will be the tip of the arrow. So the image will be, will be real. But it's upside down. We've only considered the tip of the arrow, but if we did it for other points on the arrow, we would see that it came, it was uh, displayed upside down. Uh, so it's inverted. And if you look carefully, you can see that it's actually magnified compared to the object. So we can say magnified. Now that magnification will depend on the object's location. Um, how far away it is from the lens. What does a real image mean? Well it means that this image can be projected onto a screen and you will actually be able to see an image of the object. Okay so that's the first case where the object is further away than the principal focus. Let's take a look at the second case where the object is closer than the principal focus. We're going to consider just two rays now, and you can actually get away with just using two rays for the first diagram, um, but that third ray is a good check. Here we're only going to use two, and the first one again is parallel that comes into the convex lens, and so that will result in a, a ray that is refracted and converged through the principal focus, as always. Then we look at the next ray which goes through the optical center of the lens and that goes straight through. So we can pop that on. Now if I were to look at this lens with my eye through the lens at the object on the other side, my eye would receive these rays of light and uh, the lenses in my cornea and the lens in behind the iris would focus those rays onto my retina and it would appear to me as if these rays had actually come from a point behind the lens because my eye or my brain actually follows those rays back and goes oh well they must have come from a point just here and so that means that we will actually think that there is an image behind the lens 
which is called a virtual image. So this is a virtual image. It's not really there. It's like an illusion. It's also upright. It's the right way up. And it is magnified as well. Magnified. So these are, this is the nature of the image. Now, a virtual image cannot be projected onto a screen. It's just something that you see through the lens and it appears to be there, even though in reality it's not. And what have we made here? Well, we have made a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass. So those are the two cases you need to understand for a convex or converging lens where the object is further away than the principal focus. You get a real inverted and a magnified image. And if the object is closer than the principal focus, then you get a virtual image formed on the same side as the object. So at least it looks like that. And it's upright and it's magnified.